Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. I wanted to share this article with you. It's basically just hammering down on a point uh, that uh, I had, well, not really a point, but new eligibility for millions of veterans that I had actually recently uh, pushed down a video on uh, as well back at the beginning of this month. This new eligibility opened up uh, March 5th of 2024, allowing more veterans than ever access to healthcare. Now, for those that don't know, you, veterans can't just walk into the VA uh, unless you're homeless. Can't really just walk into the VA and start getting services uh, from from the healthcare perspective. There's doorways, eligibility requirements that you have to meet in order to receive VA healthcare. Which, by the way is a huge benefit. If you put a dollar tag on it, how much would you have to spend uh, for for that care, right? So it is an absolute benefit. And just to put things in perspective, there's, you know, the numbers are loose. One point, or, or 17 million veterans-ish, 17, 18 million veterans in the U.S. Of that amount, less than 30% are utilizing the VA for disability compensation. Disability compensation is a doorway. It is a, a doorway into the healthcare system. So it's one of the eligibility kind of aspects. So you can get in there and be seen. Now, if you look at um, the other criteria in order, other doorways, right? It's, it's, it's ors, not ands. So you can meet any one of these things and get into the access. You can be means tested and make no money and then you can go in. You can have a uh, purple heart. You can have a uh, former prisoner of war. Um, you can be on VA pension. Uh, and those are also doorways into the healthcare system. But the bottom line is, as many folks aren't. So this is the new eligibility allowing folks in. I'm going to dive into the article here and, and jump through it for you, see if we can pick out any additional nuggets and just get the word out. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, share with a friend, let the video run. That is going to put this into the hand of that 70% of veterans that are not connected to the VA uh, for healthcare primarily through disability compensation. So, very important. Let's jump into it. Veterans, were you exposed to toxins? Delay for healthcare eligibility is over. Veterans benefits change is one of the largest ever expansions, according to U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs. Veterans who were exposed to burn pits, burn pit fumes and other toxic substance substances can immediately sign up for medical care under the major under a major revision of federal policy the US Department of Veterans Affairs has broadened benefit eligibility for veterans who were exposed to toxins and other hazards while serving whether abroad or at home specifically the federal agency eliminated a phased in approach through 2032 for enrollment and veterans do not need to have service connected disabilities to qualify as previously required, according to a VA spokesperson. The VA says the change is one of the largest ever expansions of health care for veterans. It will help millions who now or may down the road face medical conditions because of toxic exposure, including cancer, so they can get medical care sooner than what was under the 2022 law. That's, uh, let's see, I just bounced around on me. All right. So that's when uh, the president signed the PACT Act, which, which stands for Promise to Address Comprehensive Toxins, Toxics Act, taking effect January 2023. The law added roughly two dozen medical conditions for benefits uh, for veterans exposed to burn pits, Agent Orange, and other harmful substances. Since the PACT Act took effect in 2023, the VA has hired 52,000 more personnel, including physicians and staff, uh, su support staff, to work at outpatient clinics and hospitals in response to the enrollment uptick. The hiring was in anticipation of a push to cut out the phased enrollment. About 500,000 veterans enrolled in 2023, yet they needed to have a service-connected disability to be eligible, according to the VA. With the phased-in approach eliminated and no longer needing to have service-connected disability, the VA estimate, estimates 
3.5 million veterans are now eligible under the expansion that took effect March 5th. 3.5 million veterans, right? Huge. I told you the number was going to be huge. Uh, so that's a big number. Here's a snapshot of who is eligible under the recent expansion. There's three bullet points here, so hang on with me. Veterans who were exposed to toxins or other hazards during military service, period. Veterans who were assigned to certain duty stations in Southwest Asia or parts of Africa, period. Veterans who deployed in support of certain operations after 9-11, period. Those are the three bullet points. The eligibility extends to veterans who were never deployed but were exposed to toxins or hazards while training or on active duty. This means all veterans who served in the Vietnam War, the Gulf War, Iraq, Afghanistan, the Global War on Terror, or any other combat zone after 9-11 will be eligible to enroll directly in the VA health care without first applying for VA benefits, according to a VA news release. How bad were burn pits is the question mark here. Burn pits have been used for decades to dispose of waste generated on American military bases overseas, where jet fuel was often used to ignite the waste. The Disabled Veterans of America was instrumental in bringing the health hazard to the forefront and research on the impact to veterans' health and burn pits. Veterans experience medical conditions such as respiratory illness and diseases including asthma, chronic bronchitis, uh, chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disease, emphysema, a long list of cancers and kidney disease are, are other life-threatening consequences. In 2020, or no, 2013, Congress mandated the creation of the VA's Airborne Hazards and Open Burn Pit Registry. And in 2018, Defense Spending Bill required VA to coordinate further research on the effects of burn pits according to disabled veterans organizations. About 4 million veterans deployed over the last 30 years were exposed to burn pits according to the VA secretary. And so here's the here's the takeaway. Uh, it just kind of it veers off into other subjects now. So this was on uh, uh, Florida uh, newspaper, uh, Naples uh, Daily News, where I found this information. And you know that's a good little spread. And I'm glad that they put it out there. Here's the bottom line for Florida, which has the I think third largest veteran population so i'm glad that they're putting it out but here's the thing we have veterans throughout the nation and hitting the thumbs up and letting the video run is what helps to push this out there to those 3.5 million veterans who are now eligible for health care which then could potentially lead to getting all the diagnosis and evidence together so that way they can file for their disability compensation so with you we can do this i appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. Have a great one. And remember, if we don't take care of each other, something went wrong.